Welcome to our special award ceremony for the 2023 Bell Shakespeare Shorts Festival Awards. I'm Joanna Erskine, I'm the Head of Education at Bell Shakespeare. Hello, I'm Peter Evans, I'm the Artistic Director of Bell Shakespeare. And I'm Emily Edwards, I'm Bell Shakespeare's Resident Artist in Education. And we are presenting live from Bell, Sha Bell Shakespeare HQ at Pier 23 Walsh Bay. Uh, and we acknowledge that we are on the lands and over the waters of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation and we pay our respects to their elders past and present. We also acknowledge the many lands on which these new stories and films were made, and of course, of the lands on which you are in and on tuning in tonight. This is the fourth year of the festival, and we had 42 incredible films submitted. Congratulations to all the young people who made and submitted films this year, and a special shout out to the teachers involved also. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we've ever seen a year where the competition has been so close. We've had a lot of these films with half a mark or one mark between them, uh, tied scores all the way through. So honestly, the standard has been extremely high. It has been such a tough competition. So well done to all. And this year we've had films come from as far afield as Christmas Island, the Whit Sundays, the Atherton Tablelands up in far north Queensland, that's actually my hometown, <laughs> uh, as well as from Byron Bay, the Blue Mountains, the Goona in regional New South Wales, Portland in regional Victoria, and many films from capital cities, including from Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide and Perth. Yes, so a huge congratulations to all the young people who made films this year. It's honestly been a joy to watch them. So. There were some rules for the festival. We accepted films from both primary schools and secondary schools and also households. Films needed to be about or inspired by Shakespeare. They could be shot on any device, so a smartphone, a tablet, a film camera, it didn't matter. And there was a time limit, so none of these films could be longer than five minutes in duration. We also asked students to reflect their school or their unique community in some way within the film. 
and we really wanted to see all over Australia from where these films are from reflected within the films themselves. We judged the films against the award categories, which were excellence in direction, excellence in performance, excellence in storytelling, Creative Vision Award, Community Spirit Award, and our two top prizes, top primary film and top secondary film. That's right, and the films, as I said, were of such a high standard that we actually shortlisted 17 films this year. So, let's announce our 17 films on our 2023 shortlist. Drum roll, please. Our top 17 films were A Bloodlit Horizon, Christmas Island District High School in Western Australia, Bloodstained Betrayal, Christmas Island District High School in Western Australia, The Three Witches, Oxley College, Baradoo, New South Wales, FIFA Macbeth, Bayview College in Portland, Victoria. Insidious Intent, Christmas Island District High School, Western Australia. M. Beth, Santa Maria College from Perth, Western Australia. Remove the School Captain, Julius Caesar style. St. Catherine's Catholic College, The Whit Sundays, Queensland. Romeo and Julian, Cranbrook School, Bellevue Hill, New South Wales. Six Characters in Search of a Hamlet, Abbotsley School, Warunga, New South Wales. Six Houses, Trinity Anglican College, Thaguna, New South Wales. Sonnet 73, Blue Mountains Grammar School, Wentworth Falls, New South Wales. And Talent Show, St Peter's Anglican Grammar, Campbelltown, New South Wales. The Bard Baffles the Bay from Tomarie High School, New South Wales. The Faults in Ourselves from Prince Alfred College in Adelaide. The Flower 3000 from Northside Montessori School, New South Wales. The Late Arrivals from the Bahaja, McLean and Cameron families in Port Hacken, New South Wales. And finally, To Eat or Not To Eat from the University High School, Victoria. So congratulations, a round of applause to all the shortlisted films. And I know we also have a lot of watch parties all over Australia from these uh, shortlisted films tonight. So hello out there if you're watching. Uh, we're so excited to join with you tonight. Our winners for this year's festival will receive a selection of prizes. We've got Bell Shakespeare performances, workshops and all sorts of other goodies to give away. And thank you to our wonderful judging panel who watched and scored these 17 films. We had Jessica Tovey, actor, uh, Hazem Shamas, also actor, actor and director Kyle Morrison and film producer Deanne Weir. And also artistic director Peter Evans was on our judging panel. So I can share absolutely that all judges loved watching these films and had a ball and were so impressed with the filmmaking. Okay, let's watch some films and give away some prizes. Our first award this evening is the Community Spirit Prize. This is a prize for the film that best showcases the school and or unique community from where the film was made. The winners of the Community Spirit Prize will receive a Bell Shakespeare Players in School Performance or Workshop valued at $1,000 and a $100 Booktopia voucher. Okay, and the winner of the Community Spirit Prize is The Bard Baffles the Bay from Tomary High School, New South Wales. Congratulations. The filmmakers said, in this action-packed five-act movie, a mysterious wormhole opens up over Nelson Bay. Characters from Shakespeare's plays magically appear and cause havoc on the streets. The question is, to stay or not to stay in the bay? Let's take a look. We are live on 1464 Radio Bay. We interrupt this program as a strange wormhole has opened up here in Nelson Bay, and we are seeing the sudden appearance of a number of very strange individuals. We are not sure what is going on at this point, but please stay tuned for updates and stay safe. Everyone. What is it? Women now have the power to vote, to buy property, to live free from violence and to education. So I'm free to make my own decisions. Romeo, I'm coming for you. Hold 
so many memories and secrets that no man knows about. If so, how came it so calm? It's so divine. Where is he? Are you lost? I don't know. Can I give you a lift back to the station perhaps? Such anger at those who wrong me. But this world that has delivered me from my troubles has blessed me. Surely I shall find freedom. How damn spot I say! There must be something I can do to remove this blood off my hands. I am live from Nelson Bay where, it, where it's absolutely chaos is unfolding. It has seen that a range of characters has turned up here in Port Stevens. We are unsure as it is too soon to tell. Romeo has snuck into in a cinema, Nelson Bay Cinemas, without a ticket. And Julia has broken into a school and now is getting arrested. Meanwhile, Lady Macbeth is a suspect in a murder and the acrobats are disrupting everyone. Now, the acrobats are getting arrested. Ah! Ah! Your hand, stop moving! I didn't kill him! Well, your hand prove otherwise! No! Not of the devils. Perhaps they shall listen to my cries. Tis he, that villain Romeo. Why go back to Verona when my true love is here? Thou wast forbidden to cast thine eyes upon me. God, what fools these most be. Yet, maybe I'll join them in this trouble. My voice doesn't matter in any world, so I shall silence my voice for all eternity. What shall we do now? Let's go together! Congratulations to Tomari High School. Love a camel cameo as well, and also teachers in cameo roles in these films. Well done. That script was written by Kelsey May, Jody, and Georgia. And if you missed it at the end, there was also special thanks to the local bowling club, police station, and supermarket in the credits. Honourable mentions. <laughs> I, um, I loved Kyle Morrison, uh, one of the judges' comments for this one. He said, I loved so much about this film. Lol Tibalt, <laughs> Lady M constantly cleaning her sands, great support from the community, and I could not agree more. Just Toby said, great commitment and wonderful showcase of your community. Well done. Okay, to our second award for this evening, which is Excellence in Storytelling. For this award, we're looking for films that demonstrate a cohesive and clear storytelling skill in the film. The winners of Excellence in Storytelling will receive a Bell Shakespeare workshop or masterclass in person or live streamed valued at $1,000 and a $100 Booktopia voucher. 
And because the competition was so strong this year, we've decided to award a tie. So two winners for this prize. The first winner of Excellence in Storytelling is M. Beth, Santa Maria College, WA. The filmmakers said, inspired by Macbeth, students considered the hierarchical structure of a school and what would happen if someone tried to take down the Queen Bee? Gossip, manipulation and murder. Let's take a look. She looks too comfortable. Ladies, you know what to do. Double, double. Toil and trouble. You will become queen. No woman will defeat you. Congratulations to Santa Maria College, amazing. And a special mention to Amber and Lucinda who wrote, directed and also featured in the film. Uh, one of our judges, Deanne Weir, said, <clears throat> Mean Girls Macbeth, fun, modern interpretation, good music, good momentum, fresh approach. And Jess Toby <clears throat> said, fantastic and original storytelling through filmic techniques, great modern twist on the themes, compelling story and great sense of tension and conflict. Okay, and on to our second winner of excellence in storytelling. And the winner is Insidious Intent. Uzair Fauzi, Freya Hicks, Emily Chan from Dis Christmas Island District High School, WA. The filmmakers said, the event of the year has come, the Christmas Island District High School cross country. Through twists and turns of jungle trails over rocky terrain, and around deadly red crab burrows, two best friends compete for the title of cross country champion. However, with rumours of betrayal within factions spreading and the competition heightening, at what lengths will these two best friends go to to be crowned cross country champion for 2023? Let's take a look. Jeez, Macbeth, you nearly started my heart into wild palpitation. Aren't you a merciful fellow? <laughs> um. 
run you this afternoon? I'm my good friend. Don't forget we have a long jump event this afternoon. I won't. Chill, buddy. You gotta be careful, man. We heard that there's some, you know, betrayal within the faction. I wish your feet swift and sure of foot. I'm most grateful. But wait, betrayal within the factions? Really? Hold on, we'll finish this conversation after the race. I first must replenish my water vessel. Would you like to join in this venture? I'd be delighted to. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> Thank you for my presence here today. Hi. I would like to discuss plans regarding the common enemy. A call of my straight. Abide within. Somebody help us! Everything okay? What happened? Ouch! It hurts! It hurts! Quick! Help us! Congratulations, you champion athlete. Thank you, thank you. Truly, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Truly, thank you. Congratulations to the Insidious Intent team, Uzair as director, Freya as writer, and Emily as producer. A really gripping and evocative film. Those uh, location shots mm -hmm. on Christmas Island, were they amazing? The crabs and the ants, mm. so good. Jess Toby said, wonderful use of locations and natural environment to tell the story and showcase your community. Really detailed and sophisticated understanding of time and storytelling. And Kyle Morrison said, Macbeth and the Murderers was a real highlight for me. Great acting and great action and stunts. We loved it. Well done. And we should point out that Christmas Island District High School actually had three films uh, in, the, in this year's shortlist. So really incredible work. Well done. Yeah, amazing. Okay, on to excellence and direction. For this award, we're looking specifically at directorial skill. And there were some really excellent young directors this year. And the winners of Excellence in Direction will receive a Bell Shakespeare Workshop or Masterclass in person or live streamed valued at $1,000 and a $100 Booktopia voucher. The winner of Excellence in Direction is Romeo and Julian, Kevin Chu, Andrew Nguyen, Rupert Tate, Cranbrook School, New South Wales. 
This film is, uh, looks specifically at Act 5, Scene 3 in Romeo and Juliet. The filmmakers said, this film endeavours to capture the ever-changing nature and hamartia of humanity, along with the subversive, uh, the subversion of preconceived paradigms through a recreation of Shakespeare's language and conceptions. Let's take a look. Death, gorged in the dearest morsel of the earth. Thus I have forced thy rotten jaws to open, and in this fight I'll cram thee with more food. That lean, abhorred monster brings thee to dark and to be his paramount. For fear of that, I still will remain with thee, and never from this palace of deep night. Here, here will I remain. Take this bargain with increasing death. This is my love.
congratulations to the Romeo and Julian team. Kevin as director, Andrew and Oliver producers, and all three also starred in the film. Deanne said, very well executed, focused on specific scene with a modern interpretation, clear narrative, well directed. And Toby said, beautifully filmed, sophisticated filmic storytelling, playful use of time and style, wonderful direction and editing. Kyle Morrison's take was that this kid is a real director. <laughs> Great production values, fantastic acting, and he told the story very clearly. I loved it. Brilliant work. Okay, let's keep moving to our next award, which is Excellence in Performance. Now for this film, for this award, we're looking for films that feature incredible performances from young actors. And this one was also hotly contested. So again, we have a tie. The two winners of excellence in performance will receive a Bell Shakespeare Acting Masterclass in person or live streamed, valued at $1,000, and a $100 Booktopia <laughs> voucher. The first winner, excellence in story, uh, excellence in Performance. Performance, sorry. <laughs> um, excellence performance is The Faults in Ourselves. Prince Alfred College, Adelaide, South Australia. Fantastic. And this film actually has a prologue, um, which I might read for us all. Please. Mm. Uh, all right, so here we go. Many characters, all alike in dignity, in fair Adelaide where we lay our scene where past traumas break to new mutiny and Lady Macbeth's hands will ne'er be clean. From forth the fatal lines of Will Shakespeare, lovers, soldiers, kings and queens share their lives, whose stories will make you tremble in fear or end up worse than one of Henry's wives. <laughs> the knavish puck will aim to heal their woes from Hamlet's questions to Tybalt's hot rage where, in tradition, boys will wear girls' clothes, as it was in the early modern age. So, like Miranda, look on and wonder to see who will triumph and who will blunder. <laughs> Let's take a look at the faults in ourselves. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. And welcome to Globe Therapy, where we are such stuff as bad dreams are made of. My name is Robin Goodfellow, but you can call me Puck. Aww. Today we will come together as a band of brothers to discuss our deepest passions and woes. Above all, to thine own selves be true, and please, Tibalt, no more kung fu. Now, who wants to screw their courage to the sticking place and go first on their cue? Why are you here today? What is making you so blue? Hi everyone, I'm Hamlet. Hi. Hi. Since I was a kid, I just couldn't make any decisions. First, it was Xbox versus PlayStation, and then it was Windows versus Mac. And now, after my dad's death, I just can't decide whether to be or not to be. And I think about death a lot. Is that normal? Not really, no. We'll, we'll come back to you. Uh, not enough work needed. Right, um, what about you, young man? Romeo, is it? Yeah, no, it all started when my mate convinced me to go to this party. I met this chick. She was as hot as the sun. We danced, we exchanged Snapchats. I pined, I perished, I burned, but... The problem was... She was my border wedding. A poor Adelaide supporter. You think that's bad? Some people think I'm in love with my own mother. Hey, at least you didn't have to fake your own death to run away with your husband you've known for three days. But you know what they say, the course of true love never did run smooth. Don't talk to me about true love. I'm like the second prettiest girl in Athens and still Demetrius won't love me. I even tried to follow him into the woods, but he ran away from me! Well, that makes me feel a bit better about myself. Oh, oh she's little, she is fierce! Ugh. What about you, sir? What brings you to blood therapy today? Oh, wait, this isn't Alcoholics Anonymous? No, you saucy boy! East Cheap, Alcoholics Anonymous, next on the left. Trinculo and Stefano should be there already. 
Are you telling me I've gone all this way and this isn't even the Master Chef audition? I, I even make this delicious pie. I call it the Goth Gatto. Is it vegetarian or gluten-free? Definitely not. Is this a dagger I see before me? The hammer towards my hand? Come, let me catch thee. Oh, don't worry about him. He does this a lot. He just needs the man up. On the other hand, I've tried every soap at Woolies and I can't get this damn spot. We really have tried everything. Do you, do you have anything for funny visions or maybe sleepwalking? I saw these three chicks in a dream. Crazy thing was, they told me I'd be king. Me! So we killed the king and here we are. I killed my wife. With a pillow, my boyfriend killed my dad through a curtain. I killed myself. I feel your pain, man. Girls want me too. We should start a club. Can I join? All my friends stab me in the back. Me too. I got all these splinters because my boss makes me carry his stupid wood all day. He's a magician. <laughs> I'd like to join that club. Can we put on a play as well? I could be the lead, the most lamentable tragedy of Pyramus and Thisbe. Oh, you lady could be the lovely Thisbe. Oi, mate, get your eyes off my wife. Hmm, there seems to be lots of marital problems in the room. Should we explore these further? I told you, Obi, I'm keeping the baby and there's nothing you can do about it. What are you gonna make me do? Fall in love with a donkey? Okay, everyone, I think that's enough for today. Let's oh, get silence! You all speak of the infinite deal of nothing. Romeo, thou art a villain. May I challenge thee to a duel? Romeo, I will back thee. Well, I must be cruel to be kind. But kill him, Romeo. Enough, enough. Let's just all calm down and think about today's session. Um. Do you bite your thumb at us, sir? Uh, no, 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 sir, no, sir. I, I, I. Do you crawl, <laughs> sir? <laughs> Lord, what fools these mortals be. <laughs> Congratulations to Prince Alfred College. Now, English teacher Annie Matsuliadis at the school said, I'm very proud of the boys who upheld the early modern tradition of men playing female parts, as well as for filming this over various lunch times. So this was such a great film with excellent performances from the whole ensemble with special mention for Puck. <laughs> I think whoever did those sound effects deserves an honourable mention as well. <laughs> now, Deanne Weir said, excellent Shakespeare's characters in a therapy session. Great script that brings together the essence of each character and puts it into a modern context. Lots of fun. And Jess Tovey said, wonderful script, creative and witty use of the text, excellent ensemble work. And Carl Morrison said, so clear, so well spoken, great acting, the premise and the setup are fantastic, love it. And Hazem Shamas said, brilliant, everyone in it. <laughs> Congratulations to the whole team from the fault in ourselves. Now, on to our second winner, drum roll please. The <laughs> second winner of Excellence in Performance is The Late Arrivals. Bahaja, McLean and Cameron families, Port Hacking, New South Wales. The filmmakers said a group of kids run late for the open air theatre and only arrive in time to catch the end of a Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> Let's take a look. Theatre before. 
Can we get popcorn? I don't think they do popcorn at the open air theatres. Seriously, do they at least do choc tops? Shh. Look, it's a war. The last time, this is an open air theatre. They don't have walls. No, on the stage. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I'm a wall. Is that clear? I'm a wall? We all got that? Okay, anyway. On either side of this wall stand two lovers, Pyramus and Thisbe. Oh, it's a wall. Why is that a bad thing again? Because the evil, evil wall separates us. Oh, yeah, yeah. This vile wall. Oh, walls have feelings too, you know. Let's meet tonight and escape. Great, see you then. Awesome, let's get out of here. Um, well, about that, no offence. But you're kind of the third wheel. Oh, okay then, I understand. You guys just enjoy your little escape then. Sounds boring, honestly, but whatever. I'll just be here forever and ever. Well, anyways, I'll meet you tonight. Wait, what's that? Sorry, sorry, nobody needs to be afraid. It's just me, not a real lion. Wait, you're the lion? Aren't you a bit too... Terrifying? Yes, I am, but don't worry, I'm just acting. Okay, well, it says in my script I'm supposed to be scared of you, so... Yes, quickly, run! I'm righteous, I'm your worst nightmare, go! Bye! I can't find her anywhere. If only there was some glittering moonlight to help me find my true love. Hello, I'm the moon. I glow with radiant moon like beauty. Oh no, is this Kisby's blood? I'm guessing not. You can't hold blood. Alright, acting. Oh, Thisby, oh, dainty duck, you're dead. I cannot live without you. Our sword, the pain, oh, the pain. Now am I fled! Now am I dead! Pyramus, my love! What dead, what dark! No! Come, trusty sword! See, white, white, must follow light! enough let's get out of here a midsummer night's dream more like a midsummer nightmare i'm already posting a review extremely bad made no sense talking walls and sedge Congratulations to the late arrivals team, Daisy, Georgia, Lilia, Piper and Charlotte. They have been consistent submitters to this festival since the beginning and it's such a joy to watch them grow, not only in height, <laughs> but also as filmmakers. And Daisy, who's 11, wrote and edited the film, so well done. From the judges, Kyle Morrison said, the best version of Pyramus and Thisbe <laughs> I've ever seen. Great overall story, very clear, brilliant acting. The littlest one, Charlotte, is amazing. <laughs> Great editing and writing by Daisy, so, so much talent. And Deanne said, Great story idea, some wonderful deliberate overacting, fun performances, shows great understanding of the play and of audiences. Uh -huh, well done. Okay, we are up to our final category prize, and that is the Creative Vision Prize. So for this award, we're looking for the film with the most creative concept and or that shows incredible creativity in its filmmaking. And again, many films that were submitted were so creative in their approach to Shakespeare. This was a really tough one to judge. 
Winners of the Creative Vision Prize will win Bell Shakespeare Workshop or Masterclass in person or live stream, valued at $1,000, and a $100 Booktopia voucher. The winner of the Creative Vision Prize is... Sonnet 73, Alfie Swan from the Blue Mountains Grammar School in New South Wales. Let's take a look. The time of year thou mayst in me behold. Yo, Lars, what's up? Oh, hey, man. Wait, sorry, I'm getting cold. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, really? Okay. Thanks so much, man. I'll, I'll think about it. Yeah. Hey. You off work now? Yo, Alfu! What did the odds you jump? No shot, bro. Ten. Odds out of ten. Three, two, one, seven. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, why do we go swimming? It's like 12 degrees. I love trees, man. <laughs> Bro, what? Like, these trees right now? They look crazy. <laughs> You're high. When yellow leaves or none are few do have. Trees do look kind of cool, don't they? You're both tripping. Bare ruined chords where late sweet birds sang. Yo, Mars. Yeah? Who are you calling back at the shop? Oh, right, yeah, uh... In me thou seest the twilight of such right. a day. I can't believe Miles is moving away, bro. Well, he's been talking about, about it for a while. Ugh. Yeah, but no one thought it was actually going to do it. Such a dick. He's just got out of this town first, I guess. As after sunset fadeth in the west, which by and by black night doth take away. I'm gonna get some firewood. I'll come with. That second self that seals up all in rest. Got to talk about this, bro. I'm leaving. When are you leaving? End of this week. Shit, man, I'm gonna miss the hell out of you. I'll be coming with you one day. Both of us will be. Just gotta get out of school. Two years, baby. Two years, Two baby! Years. In me, thou seest the glowing. I'm telling you, man, the sky is crazy. That on the ashes of his youth. And I'm telling lie. you, you are tripping. As the deathbed run, it must expire. No, 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 he onto something. The sky is crazy, though. Consumed with that which it was nourished by.
makes their love more strong. To love that well, which thou must leave ere long. Congratulations to Alfie Swan who wrote and directed the film. From our judges, Deanne said, beautiful imagery and sophisticated storytelling based on the sonnet. Great use of music. Jess Tovey said, beautifully shot, clever and creative reimagining of the text, stunning environment and wonderfully captured. Yeah, those Blue Mountain locations in the film were just stunning, weren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. But wait, there's more. We had one other film that the judges really loved and so we actually have a runner up for the Creative Vision Prize and that film is The Flower 3000 from Northside Montessori School in Pimble, New South Wales. The filmmaker said, inspired by A Midsummer Night's Dream, Oberon is selling his magical love potion to the general public in an infomercial. Let's take a look. Introducing the Flower 3000. Do you sit alone every weekend waiting for that special someone to come along? <laughs> Is your calendar empty? <laughs> Do you think love is for everyone else? <laughs> Well, with the all-new Flower 3000, you'll get a partner in no time. The ultra-smooth glass with a shiny marble bottom really displays efficiency. While the handmade lotus silk puffer, along with the stainless steel nozzle, give it its style and cleanliness. The latest of technology has allowed us to capture a very rare essence, which only occurs every 10 years. It comes out of a very rare type of flower called the Flower of Love. It blooms deep inside the enchanted moonstone caverns of a dormant supervolcano, thanks to Cupid firing his love-inflicting arrow into the flowers, which turn them a shade of pink as the essence flowed through the petals. But you don't have to take my word for it. The Flower 3000 is a hit on the street too. My bounty is boundless as the sea. My love is as deep. The more I give thee, the more I have for the infinite. Clearly the Flower 3000 has been a part of that love connection. Just imagine what it can do for you. I don't believe it. It's the Duke of Athens. Um, this year, sir, have you heard of the Flower 3000? It magically brings love just a couple drops in the eyes of sl any sleeping person, and voila, they will fall in love with the first thing they see. Guaranteed. I have no need for such gimmicks. All you need to do is win the lady's hand in battle, and an engagement will soon follow. Oh, yeah. I'd be interested. I have a stubborn daughter, Hernia. I could use this to entice her to marry Demetrius. Aegis, where are you? Uh, coming, sir. Save me, Lord. You don't just have to use it on your love life. Annoy with your boss, break into his house while he's sleeping, put some drops in his eyes and wake him up. Look forward to that promotion. Computer acting up? Pour a couple droplets into the USB port, or if you can, the main processor. Voila, free upgrade. Feeling old and worn down? Just a couple of drops and you'll be good in no time. Well, now that you've seen that it really works, if you call in the next 20 minutes, you'll get a free set of steak knives. That's 100% free. All you have to do now is call 0230-4156-4000. That's 0230-4156-4000 to get your free set of steak knives. This offer is not available in stores, so call now. Call 0230 for a free set of statements. This is a once in a lifetime offer to call now. Direct from Fairyland to your home. So, how does this work? Well, we're fortunate enough to have the CEO of Flower Technologies, Oberon. Hello, sir. How did this product come to be? Well, as king of the fairies, I have access to many mystical resources. I've used this rare botanical essence with hilarious results. I mean, beautiful results for eons so I decided to start selling this incredible product. Half of all proceeds raised will go to the Perry Retirement Village near Athens. Oh, easy for him to say. You don't have to go around the whole world to get it. Well, thanks Oberon and thanks to the Flower 3000 for all its magical goodness. Don't forget to call now. Don't miss out on this great product and your bonus steak knives. 
Steak knives. Did you say steak knives? It's nearly the Ides of March. I could use a set of steak knives. Shh. Uh, have I said too much? I'll give you a call. I'm Bruce. Tell not too much the hatred of my spirit. I am sick when I look on you. And I'm sick when I look not on you. Um, not quite sure what I was expecting. Um, let's go back to our video team. Get your flower 3000 now. Don't delay. Call 0230 below before time runs out. Let's see the word on the street. What love is the Flower 3000 creating now? Permia. Oh, me. Juggler. Cake of love. Thief of love. What? Have you come by night and stolen my love's heart from him? Oh, not you again. Uh, can we just... <laughs> I know you do. Uh, nothing to see here, folks. Uh, the Flower 3000. Call 0230. The number on screen. And cut. All right, guys, stop. We need this is Congratulations to the Flower 3000 team, particularly to the writer and director Aidan May. And the film was also written by Arturo Cortez Castellanos. So much fun. Now, Deanne Weir said, great story idea to represent Puck as home shopping network sales guy, <laughs> selling the Magic Flower Love Potion and then seeing dire consequences. Good effects and creation of the TV shopping network environment. And Jess Toby said, a wonderful, a wonderfully creative idea, great use of technique, sound, script and graphics to depict the infomer infomercial genre. Congratulations, we'll be sending you a prize also. So, they are our award category winners for this year. That means we've got the two top prizes to go. Yes, our top primary film and our top secondary film. And they are films we've already screened tonight. That's right. And these films, in addition to the prizes that they've already been awarded, will also receive a $250 JB Hi-Fi gift voucher and an Allen & Unwin book pack. So, let's announce our top two awards. Drum roll, please. The top secondary film is The Folks in Ourselves, Prince Alfred College, Adelaide, South Australia. Congratulations. And the top primary film is The Late Arrivals, from the Bahaja McLean and Cameron families, Port Hacking, New South Wales. Incredible job, everyone. Congratulations to all. Okay, now all the winning films from tonight will be available to watch on the Bell Shakespeare website as well as the recording of this ceremony. So if you want to share it with your friends and family, watch again or send to someone who couldn't watch live tonight, please do that. Um, and of course, re-watch any of the films that you particularly loved. Um, before we do go, I do want to say a special shout out to our amazing production team behind the scenes making this event possible and particularly to the amazing Steve who's making us look good and making everything <laughs> run off camera. He's amazing. Thank you. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, thank you to all the students who submitted films this year, uh, this year and a huge thank you to our friends at Allen and Unwin for donating the prizes. And thank you for tuning in at home. If this has inspired you to make a film or tell the young people in your life about the Bell Shakespeare Shorts Festival, join us in 2024. Submissions will open in April next year. Well, that's it from us. Thank you so much. Congratulations to all students who submitted films. Good night. Good night. <laughs>